been a little bit. That was a good sleep. But this bed is really uncomfortable. Uh, good morning to you too, Growler. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Not exactly how I'd intended to start the video, but we're still here uh, up at the Iron Mine. Derail Valley, like and subscribe, and uh, let's have a look around. So uh, we uh, left off here last time, but it was pitch black out, which sort of left us with no way to look around and see what's out here let's jump a little bit here wow there's sort of a whole lot of nothing here isn't there <laughs> oh i wonder where this track goes uh hang on oh that's not gonna tell me anything oh uh, okay coal and storage there yeah, it's definitely a track comes around here for something I wonder what let's see what it's labeled as it's a loading track okay so I guess you go down there to load coal well I get the distinct feeling that's what we're going to be doing because I doubt there are too many other jobs here for us <laughs> oh here's one of the machines we just delivered or one of the same kind of machines that we just delivered. What's this? Can I... Ew. Okay. That looks like sewage to me. Or maybe it's some sort of spoilage from... Uh, from the coal. There's a shunter sitting there. Let's head back over here. Yeah, there's not much here. <laughs> Growler uh, went to bed and slept the night and that's pretty much it bunch of post-its all right let's see what jobs we got okay we can haul four things of coal 320 tons wow to the steel mill um not a lot of money for hauling that much weight and then we've got this one which is just no way we are hire, hauling 960 tons i don't care all right well i guess we'll try this one down to the steel mill then oh what are you oh i haven't done maintenance on the yeah, spend it until your debt is reduced what debt okay um dead Okay, that's right. We just needed to back up and go do maintenance. Okay. This will be our first time doing maintenance since... Uh... Oh, that wasn't a shunter. That was our train. Okay, I thought it was a shunter sitting here. I thought it was a different track. Let's go ahead and do maintenance on our train here. Then we can get another job. Come on. Now we're on starter close it there. Uh, I didn't remember leaving the cab lights on I swear I didn't leave the cab lights on but maybe I did yeah that's right because it was pitch black so I didn't turn them off until I turned the breaker off and then I was in the pitch black okay Go ahead and put this forward, and off we trundle. We're going to have to move onto a track that's. Oh. No. Let's turn off the uh, manual brake there. That one's not clear. What track is clear? Uh, looks like this one in the center here is clear. I think this is a switch for it. I think that should send us down the right way. Get off a break. And we'll 
Trundle this way. Yeah, we got clear track here. Good. Good, good, good. You know, I do not see a turntable here anyway, anywhere, but I do see a spot where uh, our track that goes all the way around this. Oh, come on. The brakes on this thing really are not that great. Okay. Let me get it reverse and back up just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> um, so here's a good question. We figured out where the uh, fuel goes on the uh, uh, DM3. Where does it go on the DH4? Uh, oh, there it is right there. Okay. So uh, I keep thinking I can click and let go, but I have to click and release. There we go. Okay, and then diesel. Come on, diesel. Why won't you? L064 in range. Yeah, that's us. Why won't it let me fuel? It reaches. Okay. Nope. Nope. Electrical powertrain maintenance. Okay. Uh, we'll check our fuel level in a moment here. Okay. Sand. We did use a little sand. No. Well. No, why can't I do any of this? Oh, I thought I got the manual service license. I swear I bought the manual service license. Oh, and I won't be able to get it. No, I didn't get it. Okay. Okay. Well, I just wasted a bunch of time. <laughs> no, not licenses, fees. There we go. 27. <laughs> I was trying to zoom in, not, uh, not cancel. 27,000. Good God. Um, I tell you, this is killing me having to pay for all of this. The... The uh, whole thing just costs so much money. Did it take it? No, I need. I think I need to hit that first. No, yeah, I know manual service would be cheaper, but... Well, the insurance took a little bit of it. Not much. <laughs> the insurance cleared 7,000 of it. Great. All right, can we actually afford a license now? How much do I have left? Oh yeah, we got ninety nine thousand left. Holy cow! How do we get all this money? Manual service there, there, there. So we got that license. Thank you. Very nice. Um. Well, we've got ninety nine thousand, or well, seventy nine thousand now. Really, I don't did not remember having that much money. <laughs> I guess I didn't pay attention what we had last time yeah I'm not really to do any of that stuff the hazmat would be useful all right let's just go get our our coal and stuff and get this done we don't have to worry about that um as I said there's no round table here but you see this track here goes all the way around through C and out to B so we can go all the way around and then back in to be to pick up this load. Oh, let's actually get the job. Uh, this is it. Okay. And this is on B2O. Okay. So let me go grab our train here and we will go ahead and make this round trip. 
the lean there. <laughs> I hate that. I probably should take the toggle off, but it is so handy. This must be the loading spot right here. Oh, yeah. A little underneath it to load. Where's the little lever for it, though? I don't see it anywhere. It must be hidden amongst all the gantry work there. Okay, now, where is this going to bring me? This should go all the way around the outside of B, and then we'll meet up with B when we come back. There are an awful lot of flat cars here. I'm sort of surprised to see that. I mean, we brought in flat cars. We brought in a bunch of equipment, but... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But you wouldn't think they'd have that much equipment coming in doesn't look like that huge of an operation to be honest unless most of it is actually elsewhere and this is just the freight hub somehow I turned on the engine brakes just a little bit and I couldn't get the train into reverse it took me a couple minutes to figure out what was going on okay so we want the little load here in two Well, next time at least we'll be able to uh, service the engine manually. Hopefully that'll save us a lot of money. Maybe that's why the uh, manual servicing is so expensive now. Maybe they up the cost of it in order to uh, make manual servicing more worthwhile. lean the wrong direction. That was an interesting bit of lag there. Made all the cables jiggle. That on there, and that twizzled. And let's see where our manual brakes... Are this? Do they only have a knob on one side, maybe? Oh, it's on the back. That's off. Let's check the far one here. Yep, this one's on. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, it's interesting that these cars are different, and that they have the handbrake in a different spot. I like the variety. So we're going to have to go up around our little whirly gig around the uh, mountainside again. Because, um, make sure our brakes are off and get going. Because that's the only way to get down to the steel mill. Well, the only reasonable way. So, yeah, we're going to have to head back the way we came, go around the little whirly queue, and then we can head down to the steel mill. Boy, this spur, I didn't realize the spur was so steep. We were really struggling pulling this load up uh, back off the spur a long way down yeah this is a lot of weight but I think this is probably going to be our only uphill section should be downhill the rest of the way yeah, speed limit 90 I don't think we're going to get there guys <laughs> I've got uh, the engine torqued up pretty high as you can see 1200 RPM and uh, yeah, we're we're barely holding like 21 miles an hour. Yeah, maybe 22. Oop, must be flattening out. I think we might be picking up a little bit of speed. Speedometer seems to be moving a little bit at least. We got this last little hairpin turn to get back out into the main line. Then it should be pretty straightforward. We were closing in on 40 for a while there, but now we're right back down to 20. <laughs> this last little bit here was pretty steep. Okay, yep, yep, let's ease off the engine.
Yeah, now the engine's working a lot easier. There we go. It's down here. Pretty barren up here. Oh, flashy green light over there. Pretty barren up here. Not much here. Unlike uh, other parts of the map that are a lot more filled out. Let's coast. Stand back up because I like being able to see you better. <laughs> 60. Okay, we're fine. We're doing 50. Uh, okay. Let's put the engine brakes on. I didn't mean to actually get that much engine brake, but okay. I did actually manage to give all of it, didn't I? Yeah, really... Yeah, really wanted to pick up speed going downhill, but I think I've got to stabilize between the engine brake and just a slight application of the uh, train brake. Alright, where are we? Okay, we're coming up on this Y. Should already be set, but we'll be careful and double check. Yeah, it's already set. Alright, cool. Boy, I tell you, the dynamic brakes have really been handy. All this going around this whole mountain, it's all downhill the whole way. And uh, I pretty much, almost the entire time, had full uh, application of the dynamic brake. And then just occasionally had to put on the train brake for just a little bit. Yeah. I think we're good there. It's so quiet when the oil cooler shuts off. More dynamic brake back on now. All of the dynamic brake on. And let's put on some train brake. I just want to make sure I'm suspecting we're going to have a 40 mile an hour speed limit up here. So just want to make sure we don't overdo things. Leave a little on there. Because should, we should be coming up to a switch soon. And this one I know we're going to have to change. Because we came through it the other way. So it's going to be switched the other way. And there it is. Ding nabbit. <laughs> it came up too quick. We sail right on through it. All right. Stand up here. Turn the dynamic brake off. Okay, and I think better give it a little bit of power before I take the brakes off. Otherwise, we are going to roll the wrong direction. I did not expect it to be right there, just outside of the tunnel. We're going to go 30 when we go left. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Literally right outside the tunnel. Okay. Okay. 
Now we can go brakes off. And then we should, yep, just start to roll. Why are you struggling? Why are we going backwards? Oh, because I never took it out of reverse, that's why. <laughs> well, that wasn't very helpful. There we go. Now we're headed south. Let's not pick up too much speed here. None of this low speed curve. And of course the sun is going down. Damn, the days never last long. <laughs> It'd be nice if we could complete a run during the daytime. Nice view as we go along here. Ooh, that was a weird little stutter. Ooh, yeah, we're picking up a little bit more speed than I wanted. I think the speed over here is 60, so if I can hold it to 40 or 50, that's fine with me. 50 probably be good, as long as I don't overheat the engine with the, with the train brakes, or for the uh, dynamic brakes. I think we just saw one of those tree branches move out of the way. I did not see it in time, but uh, pretty sure that's what it was. Well, we just passed that little shed back there. This is the steel mill up ahead, so we're doing good. Slow this down some. There we go. Right. I think that's where we're going to go, right there. Well, hopefully if there's nothing in that uh, track. Yeah, it looks like that's the track right there, and that looks empty. So this has been a pretty short trip compared to uh, the last one we did. I mean, really lengthwise, it didn't seem that long, but no, this is not the right one. How did I end up on this one? I'd swear I'd counted it right, but I guess not. I'd like to get some more of those, uh, you know, valuable loads. Like that last one. We made a lot of money on that last one. So I might as well open the door since we're here. So I can get a better look out. Oh, there we go. There we go. That should do it. I don't think we're going to get anything but steel here. So steel and other metal products. So uh, maybe if we get something that'll take us down to... Are we going on to four again? I switched the switch, didn't I? Or did I switch the wrong one? <laughs> what is happening? Okay. This one should be left. Or right, I mean. That one should be right.
I don't understand, because I switched one that was going the other direction. So if I didn't switch the right one, what am I doing? What did I do wrong? Unless there were more tracks than what it was showing here. So it should just be in left, left, and then right. Hitting the engine brake by accident. Now will we go down the right direction? It was possible I was firing off off the switch and switched it back. I didn't think I did. There we go. Now we're on the right one. And I'm leaned again. Excellent. Coasted into position here. This looks good. Still didn't work. Okay, it is disconnected now. Set the handbrake on one of these. There we go. Here's our building. Okay, we took 48 minutes and a 60 minute uh, thingy. Almost six thousand dollar bonus, so it brings us up to almost seventeen thousand altogether, or over seventeen thousand. Excuse me. Uh, take this. I really did not need this. Cool. Let's go sleep. The uh, actually, let's go take care of our locomotive first. Let's go ahead and get the maintenance done on this. And we should be able to go down the center track here. We'll see what our maintenance looks like now that we can do it manually. Hopefully it'll be a lot cheaper. So we don't want this one. We want the next one. Should be this one right here. Yeah, there we go.
And of course it started raining. At least we'll be inside of a shed this time. Shut this down. The handbrake on. All that. And then do our breaker. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, it's the light from from the shed. All right, now. Keep wanting to click and release instead of click and hold. Diesel right here. Okay. 6,000. Sand. I don't think we used any. Oil. Good. Wheels. Mechanical. We don't use electrical. It's not bad. 6,400. Uh, no, sorry. 6,300. Why does this say? Oh, we. Oh, that's the amount of sand. Let's just see how much this is going to be. Okay. Let's go over here in the light. Yeah, only cost us six grand instead of uh, um, the huge amount that it was costing us before. So definitely worth it doing this. All right, cool, guys. But I think that's going to be it for today. We got this all done. It's now raining like crazy. And uh, we'll see what jobs we have sitting over here next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.